Okay, so you've already installed Stable Diffusion locally, and you're running Automatic 1111 or Comfy UI, and now you want to experiment with Focus. Well, here's a nifty little trick that will allow you to run Focus without having to download all of your checkpoints and other models again, while also saving you a lot of valuable hard disk space in the process. What we're going to do is link our existing checkpoints and models to our new Focus installation. This way, each model and LoRa can be used in both installs at the same time. The way we do this is through modifying a specific focus configuration file. If this sounds difficult, don't worry. In this video, I'll walk you through each step. Before we begin, this video assumes you have already installed both Stable Diffusion with Automatic 1111 as well as Focus. If you haven't already installed Stable Diffusion with the Automatic 1111 user interface, then check out my video for easy step-by-step -step directions. And if you haven't already installed Focus, then check out my Focus installation video. The links are in the video description below. Okay, let's get started. First, open Windows Explorer and navigate to the directory where you installed Focus. In my case, it's installed on my C drive in a folder named Focus. Double-click to enter this folder. Once we are inside this folder, you will see a subfolder named Focus. Double-click to enter that subfolder. Now scroll down until you see a file named config.txt. Before we begin, let's make a backup of this configuration file just in case we need to revert back to it. So right-click this config.txt file and choose Copy, then right-click again and choose Paste. A new file with the name config-copy.txt will be made. That is our backup of the original configuration file. Now right-click on the original config.txt file again, but this time choose Edit, or if you're on Windows 11, choose Edit in Notepad. The config.txt file will open in Notepad. Be sure to leave this notepad window open in the background while you perform the rest of the steps that follow. In Windows File Explorer, navigate to the directory where you installed Stable Diffusion. Mine is installed on my C drive in a folder named SD. Double-click to enter that folder. You will see a subfolder named Stable Diffusion Web UI. Double-click to enter this folder. Inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, you will see a folder named Models. Double-click to enter the Models folder. Inside the Models folder, you will see a folder named Stable-Diffusion. Double-click to enter the Stable-Diffusion folder. This is the folder where all of your Stable Diffusion checkpoint models are stored. Right-click in the navigation bar at the top of the window and choose Copy Address. Now return to the Notepad window that's open in the background, and on the first text line, you will see Path underscore Checkpoints, followed by a colon and a Windows path. That is the path to the current folder for Focus Checkpoints. We are going to change this path. With your mouse, highlight the path starting at C or whatever drive letter your focus installation is on and ending at the last character before the double quotation mark. All characters between the two double quotes should be selected. Now right click on the highlighted text and select paste. This replaces the old path with our new path. Now we need to slightly modify the path that we just pasted. Everywhere you see a single backslash, add a second backslash right next to it to make it a double backslash. Perfect. We are done with changing the path to our models. While we're here, let's also go ahead and change the path to our Loris. File Explorer should still be open to your stable-diffusion-webui slash models slash stable-diffusion folder. If it isn't, open File Explorer and navigate. Now in the navigation bar at the top of the window, click on Models to open the Models folder. Inside the Models folder, double-click on the folder named LoRa. Once inside the LoRa folder, right-click into the navigation bar and choose Copy Address. Go back to the Notepad window open in the background, and this time look for the line that says Path underscore Loris. Just like you did before, replace the text inside the two double quotes by first highlighting it and then right-clicking and choosing Paste. And just like before, change all of the single backslashes into double backslashes. Once done, Choose File, then Save, and close Notepad. Now navigate to where you installed Focus. Mine is at C Focus. Double-click to enter the top folder, then double-click the file, run underscore realistic .bat, to launch Focus. Once the focus window opens, tick the checkbox at the bottom for advanced, and then click the tab that says model. 
Now, when you go to select a model, all of your models from your stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 installation will be available to use here in Focus. The same goes for your Loris. Congratulations. That is it, my friends. We are done. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.